I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Avrupa Minerals reported assay results from its Sesmarias Massive Sulfide Target Area at its Avala JV project in Portugal. Avrupa focuses on project generation work in politically stable and prospective regions of Europe, where it has a portfolio of properties including the Iberian Pyrite Belt in Portugal, the Vahanti Pahisalmi VMS Belt in central Finland, and the Vardar Trend in Kosovo. The new upgraded 100% owned Avalad license covers approximately 115 square kilometers of highly prospective target area in a prime portion of the Iberian Pyrite Belt in Portugal. The Ses Marias massive sulfide discovery lies just 7 kilometers south of the historic Lusal mine and 9 kilometers south of Avrupa's Monte de Bella Vista stockwork zone, all of which are covered by the Avalad license. Today's result is from Hull SES 23047, which returned 26.95 meters of 2.18% copper, 2.28% lead, 5.60% zinc, and 88.2 grams proton silver, from 393.8 to 420.75 meters depth, within a wider interval of 43.4 meters of 1.51% copper, 2.15% lead, 4.78% zinc, and 64.1 grams proton silver from 392.8 to 436.2 meters depth. The program is a joint venture between Avrupa Minerals and San Faya Matza, with Avrupa operating the project and Matza funding the exploration work. Previously, through the joint venture, during 2020 to 2021, the company drilled 17 diamond drill holes, totaling 8,900 meters, on six different fences along a strike length of 400 meters in the Sesmarias North Zone. The joint venture returned to drilling at Sesmarias in mid-April, targeting the Central Zone, where Avrupa drilled the high-grade discovery hole SES-002 in 2014 which intersected 7.95 meters of 2.21% copper, 3.05% lead, 4.82% zinc, and 89.8 grams per ton silver at approximately 150 meters depth. Unfortunately, subsequent shallow follow-up drilling at that time failed to intersect further shallow mineralization. At this time, with only one drill hole in the new zone, the true thickness of the massive sulfide mineralization is unknown. The drill hole intercepted at least part of the eastern limb of the target mineralized sink line, and possibly part of the hinge of the sink line. Further drilling is clearly necessary to search for both extension and shape of the mineral body. Potential for further higher grade mineralization lies from the present 650S section to the 350S section, north of the present drilling, and possibly for another 300 to 400 meters to the south of the 650S section. The company is currently drilling a follow-up hole at SES 23048, colored approximately 150 meters southeast of SES 23047 on the 800S section, with five more holes planned, also funded by the joint venture partner. Note that the central zone appears to be open and untested for at least 300 meters in either direction from the 650S section. Paul W. Kuhn, President and CEO, stated, we are truly excited about the SES 23047 results. The entire team effort putting together a coherent targeting model led to this initial success in the Ses Maria Central Zone, which we hope will continue with follow-up drilling. Previous joint venture drilling demonstrated the potential for significant thicknesses of massive sulfide mineralization, and we recognize the potential for higher grade mineralization as we move south towards the Central Zone, perhaps the center of the mineral system. We now recognize that the SES-002 lens should be part of the new discovery lens, separated by faulting. Perseverance, continued creative thinking, and strong financial support led to a real success that shows possibilities for further follow-up success. The shares are trading at 6.5 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, avrupaminerals.com. Contact Paul W. Kuhn at 604-687-3520 or email info at avrupaminerals.com. I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media.